Hi, it's KB from Move Me Poetry. This is Kill the Reader, and I apologize. I just got caught in this weird thought that the same person who loaded the gun fired the bullet. Liz Kiefer, are we are we part of some plan? Are we, you know, are we tangled in your web? Is this, what is this? Did you plan this? <laughs> I'm just kidding, but... Great poetry and great literature always rises up to the top where it belongs. And your work this week, Liz, is so fluffing good. I am so excited about it. Let's read it, okay? And then we'll talk about it. It's called Ghosted by Liz Kiefer. So, you are gone. Ectoplasm of infinite possibilities, leached of color left clinging to my broken, nailed hands. Gray as this horizon, wisped thin as sticky with disgust. I wash clean of those hopes. I am the stirrings of wind in graceful, waving treetops. I am the flow of life giving rain. My tribe is the sun breaking into blue. I am a bird praising the dawn, her body a harp for echoing joy. I embody more than this, more than you will ever, ever be. So first off, Liz, you had me at ectoplasm. You had me at ectoplasm. Your choice of words in this piece of work is so phenomenal. Um, what a beautiful painting, honestly. Um, you know, gone is the growth. And as, as humans gifted the ability to love, I'm not sure that's a gift or a curse sometimes, but gifted the ability to love, we hang on to things much too long with broken, nailed hands, fingertips grasping at things that we can no longer hold. It's what we do. It's so human. We all do it. Yeah. This is so good, Liz. Um, and then I love how you, uh, you have, you know, two sides of the poem, almost like it's two people staring down one another, screaming into one another, or it's one person screaming into themselves, into the mirror. Either way, it doesn't matter. It works perfect. Um, sticky with disgust, whether it be within the other person um, or within ourselves. And then you wash clean of those hopes that that growth is ever going to happen. You, you see that light to move on. And then you become the stirrings of the wind. You become the fingernails of the treetops that scrape the sky, begging for new rain. Begging for new blue and new bright sun. It's just, that is so beautifully written. Um... And then the bird praising the dawn. And then and then how you flip it at the end, her body a harp for echoing joy. So I like how you you do that. Like it's it's all this, so you and I, and then it becomes her. So that kind of is a, a nice uh, M. Night Shyamalan type twist on the end, her body a harp for echoing joy. Um, so you could almost... Uh, as you read this, is it a mother looking after a child type thing? The body, a harp for echoing that joy of a child. So there's so much here that you can um, you can mold. You know, that's that's why we do this. You know, that's why we do this. Um, that's what poetry is. You mold it. You mold it to you. Uh, and this is such a fantastic piece, Liz. I am, I keep reading through it and I keep finding more. Um, so, uh, yeah, I should wrap this up. So oh, thank you, Liz, for such a fantastic piece of literature this week. Thank you for all you delivered to our community, Teach Me Tuesdays and beyond. We are so lucky to have you. We are so thankful for you. 
And um, yeah, I can't wait to grow together. We can't wait. Ra- we can't wait to grow together. Cheers, my friend. Enjoy your moment. Enjoy your evening. And also, tomorrow's Tuesday, so you should probably get Teach Me Tuesday posted pretty soon. All right, cheers. Bye.